why do you do this? You do this for these, these magical three minutes when the world goes away and you're completely in charge of your life and you're intense, intense in your focus and you really get to develop a pure ego. And when I say a pure ego, I'm not talking about the hoo-ha, I'm the best in the world. It's a question of, of two brilliant people pitting their ideas and their experience and their talent against each other and finding out if their ideas were really good. against a little 12 pounder called Ricochet and it was just a long match nobody could get an advantage I couldn't hit him he couldn't really hurt me and he actually hit me just right where I flipped over and my bot was invertible and he came in at the exact speed where my egg beater hit the top of his uh, my weapon hit the top of his robot and flew eight feet into the air did six flips no yeah it was 13 flips with six twists landed on the quarter inch plate steel floor and was still going so that was pretty awesome. So this is Texas Heat. This is our um, lightweight 60 pound, I believe. Um, and once we got sponsored by Texas Instruments, the uh, chip company, uh, we converted it to a uh, flamethrower wedge. So uh, basically... Uh, Wait a minute, did you say flamethrower wedge? Yes. Oh, they don't look like much now, but I mean, they're just off the shelf uh, camping lantern fuel but we basically fill up a full tank of those a full tank of that into our robot we dump that in about 30 seconds actually right now we've got a bigger tank so we can dump the entire thing in about a minute so we could just sit there roasting the other robots for a minute and it, it's pretty spectacular it uh it's psychological as well as uh destructive uh, so in the old days, I mean, you'd see a lot of robots with like Lexan armor and like aluminum armor and you know over the last 10 years the sports just constantly evolved. You can picture, you know, every competition, people refine their designs, they improve upon it, they, they counter what the other guy just did to beat them. So over 10 years, I mean, if you were to put those, those robots from TV, you know, 5-10 years ago, they get destroyed, they get absolutely demolished. Uh, so, I mean, I like that kind of stuff. I like actually, you know, building stuff that, you know, does interesting things, really. So, this is a logical extension of that. So, as soon as I heard that we had, had like, any kind of robotics team, it, it worked out well. I just kind of took to that. 